hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm discussing the topic related to windows 10 or windows 7 or any version of windows uh, it's basically uh, most of the windows admin use these commands for checking the disk uh, generally so three commands chk dsk which we call check disk sfc and dism in windows 10 so when our pc gets giving errors slowing down or misbehaving we are using one of these commands it's a built-in diagnostic tool so chk dsk or check disk sfc and dism check the health of our hard drive and repairing the correct correct files but the three tools works in a different ways and target at different areas of the system chk dsk sfc and dsm are system tools and we can run all the three but this can prove time consuming and unnecessary for our specific problem so let me explain how we can use it uh, in, in in troubleshooting so we have to use chk dsk or check disk as the first windows diagnostic tool you should try if the PC is starting acting strange, for example, if it hangs while shutting down or becomes frustratingly slow. Check disk scan the entire hard drive to find and fix errors in the files in the file system itself. It also checks the hard drive for bad sectors like clusters of data that cannot be read and either tries to repair them or tells your system not to use them. Windows may run check disk on startup if it detects a problem with your hard drive sometimes for innocuous reasons such as improper shutdown but also more serious ones including malware infection and impending drive file however it won't actually fix any issues until instructed to do so. To prevent future errors and potential data loss it's worth running check disk manually at least once a month as a part of your PC maintenance routine. You can use one of the following method like for example you can run it directly from the command prompt uh, otherwise we can open file explorer and uh, click on the PC when you right click on the PC you can see the properties and click on the tools then check uh, select check and error checking section Windows determines that everything is running smoothly it will suggest that you don't need to scan the drive or to run chk dsk anyway select scan drive the scan may take anything from a few minutes to half an hour depending on the size and state of your drive once complete check disk will either tell you that no errors were found or if it does find any it will suggest you to fix them the second option is to run it from the command directly uh, you have to open the command prompt as the administrator and uh, you can run the command chk dsk space slash f space c colon for the c drive and uh, to scan the bad sectors we can type chk dsk space slash r and the drive letter c colon so it will run the check this command and it will run and find the errors so the second option is SFC. When CHKDS or check disk finds and fixes errors in the file system of a hard drive, SFC or system file checker basically scans and repairs Windows system files. If it detects that a file has been corrupted or modified, SFC automatically replaces that file with the correct version. Knowing when to use SFC is usually more appears than uh, check disk, which depends on a hunch that your hard drive isn't behaving correctly if windows programs crashing you're getting error message about missing dll files or your experience and seeing the dreaded blue screen of death then it's definitely time to run sfc so we have to open the command prompt and uh, as administrator then I run sfc space slash scan now without space scan now doesn't have a space there okay so this SFC will perform a full scan of our system and repair and replace any files that are damaged or missing. 
using versions from the Windows component store. This can can take some time because it has to make sure uh, all the files like it's you know it's a file checker so it's gonna take time and if you just want to verify the scan but not to repair anything so we can run sfc space slash verify only command so once sfc has finished um, we can see one of the three message like windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation this means that whatever causing your pc problem isn't related to the system file or the second uh, message it could be windows resource protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them which means the problem has been already resolved and the third message can be windows resource protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix some of them this means the system files are blame but as of six couldn't replace them try running the tool again in safe mode in that case if you still get the same result it's uh, time to use the third tool DISM that we discussed in the beginning so DISM is basically deployment image servicing management is the most powerful of the three windows diagnostic tool that we have discussed like SFC it's better than SFC and better than check disk and usually we don't need to use this tool it's the only one to turn to when you are experiencing uh, the frequent crashes freezes and errors but SFC either can't repair your system files or is unable to run at all uh, while check disk scan your hard drive at SFC the file system DISM detects and fixes corrupt files in the component store of Windows system image so that SFC can work properly and create a backup of, of the tri partition before running the DISM. It's uh, as a safety you need to create a backup of the tray partition before we run that uh, DISM command. As with check disk and SFC you will need to open uh, the command prompt as administrator and to save the time and risk of performing repairs unnecessarily we have to first check the image is corrupted without making any changes so we can run the command like dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space check health i will put all the command in the description this scan should take only a few uh, seconds actually and if no corruption is detected we can uh, run a more advanced scan to determine if the component store is healthy and repairable again without making any changes by typing dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash scan health and if dism report there are problems with the system image we can run another advanced scan to repair these issues automatically dism will connect to windows update to download and replace the damaged files as required and this process may take up to 10 minutes and hang for a while at 20 seconds but this is normal I can type this command dism space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health. Once the scan and repair complete, restart the PC and run the SFC again to replace the correct or missing system files. So I believe that uh, you are clear with check disk SFC and dism. We can uh, uh, we can run one of these command based on the situation based on the trouble that you're facing and i believe this uh, video was helpful guys thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye